before we understand destructuring let's just just recapitulate about the arrays javascript arrays now const uh, let's say array one is equal to i'm going to give an array uh, which is maybe colors okay uh, maybe red and then there is orange then there is blue okay. just just three entries in that all right which means my array will now contain what three values three elements of an array what are those whose indexes are 0 1 2 and total length of an array is 3 okay that is given so index of red is 0 index of orange is 1 index of blue is 2 okay if i want to retrieve one of the element what i will do okay i will do uh, this part like array 1 within the square bracket i will put the array index maybe uh, what i want to do i want to fetch orange what do i do 0 1 2 2 0 uh, 0 1 2 so 1 is the index of orange so i'll just type 1 and this will return me a orange value okay that is how i will uh, read all these individual elements of an array so now let's say i want to pick and treat each individual values or elements of an array as a variable itself okay they are a particular variable itself how do i do that that i can do it using destructuring okay now what does what does that mean here each individual element is an array okay uh, each individual element is an element of an array now let's say if a red red is if i want to get red what should i do okay if 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 i want to treat red itself as a variable like 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 an array so i can do that using destructuring destructuring what it does destructuring will do it's a short clean syntax to unpack unpack what values from an array into distinct variables so each values of an array or the elements of an array will be treated as a variable in the same way for arrays it is also the case for objects where all the properties individual properties of an objects can be treated as variables like let's say here uh, let's say this is related to what i will do uh, there is a way that i need to do restructuring let's let's understand that syntax so the objects and array literal expressions provide an easy way to create ad hoc packages of data okay so each individual variables uh, values within an array can be treated as distinct variables and those variables in turn can store certain values okay so that is the power of destructuring it, it has the syntax like this like const skill this is an array an array contains what uh, html css and javascript okay this is the uh, content or the uh, element that it contains elements or the values of an array these are string values all right so the length of the array is 3 and the individual uh, index is 0 1 2 and now what is the syntax for destructuring destructuring of an array const within the square brackets you key in all the elements whichever you want to make it as individual uh, variables and then equal to skills which is nothing but the array name now html css and javascript will become variables and they can hold values they have a placeholder now they can store value variables will be created this is a part of destructuring all right so now we have created we will create three variables which are part of this skill array now these individual variables will hold any value that you give now i am assigning html uh, this one is assigned a certain value this is assigned a certain value this is assigned a certain value and uh, so and so forth okay so um, uh, th that is how you can go ahead and create those values all right now let's go ahead and run that now what is happening here guys here it is printing that what is that pr being printed to the console i am printing the value of this variable which is storing the text or a string 
which is hypertext markup language. I'm printing that to the console. So it is printing this. And then there is console.log skill.css uh, skill, which is nothing but cascading style sheets. So that is printing here. And then uh, JScript skill, which is printing the value of JavaScript that is storing. So what is happening here? And but also mind you that skill is still unchanged. The value of skill is unchanged because skill is still the same array. Okay, that array is not changed. That will still contain three values uh, and the length of the array is still three. But these individual elements have become variables now and they are storing again certain text. Okay, that is basically is happening because of the concept called JavaScript destructuring. Okay, so what it will do, it will a short clean syntax to unpack values from an array into distinct variables okay and also properties from objects into distinct variables we'll see these properties or how they are doing okay uh, how to get uh, individual properties from an object objects and then assign and create them as variables we'll see that in the next example but for the current example we you just observed and saw that each individual elements of an array or values of an array have been converted into variable types and these variables are in turn storing certain data and they can be of any type okay mind you so this can be a string it can be a number it can be a boolean all that okay all the data types primitive data types you can do go ahead and do that that is just fine absolutely fine so the, the destructuring will convert the values of an array into a distinct variables did you now, let's take an example of uh, destructuring an object literals okay how do we do that here what we are doing we are taking first defining an object what is that object we are creating an object called skillsam user 1 okay user one is an object now let's say i'm creating the user which is skillsam user one and this user is containing certain properties the properties are key and value key value key value key value okay key value pairing always in object it starts with the curly brackets all right so now the uh, key is name the value is rohit key is email then the email is rohit at example.com password is the key and then this is the value of the password and birth year is 1990 this is a, a number okay these all three are of character type or a string type this is a, uh, a number okay now how do i use a destructuring for an object this is still same let within the curly brackets you are only going to give the key values okay not the not the value it's just the keys here in 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 in, uh, in 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 arrays what you used to give you used to give the value or the elements elements as the uh, variables you are creating these elements as variables here you are creating the keys as variables so now name email password and birth year will be created as variables these are the distinct variables now they will be created from the uh, object literal object called skills app user one so now if i go ahead and print those values what will happen like uh, initially i'm going to print log console.log name if i print name name will give me a value called rohit whereas email will give me a value which is storing this value which means this has become an individual variable normal way how i used to access a uh, object literal i need to give the object name dot key name Okay, that is how you used to access, right? Like, for example, if I show you an uh, example here, uh, let's say, let I create an object called uh, India, uh, India demo, uh, India details, India details. Okay. Now, uh, what is this? I'm going to give. Uh, let's say. Um, let's say um, india a uh, flag okay flag the flag is a key now flag means i'm going to give orange orange white green okay this is a string it's simple i mean i'm just uh, presenting a um, um, value called flag and flag is containing uh, or, or flag color i'll say black colors 
All right. And then I'm going to add uh, another details like capital. city and now i'm going to give what i'm going to give new delhi right new delhi and then uh, independence independence year okay now this is storing the value which is of a string type which is called 1947 all right now what what have i created i have created an object called india details which is containing the key called flag colors and then there is a string value all right and then i am i am going ahead and creating a flag color uh, which is this one uh, what is this value called uh, capital city which is storing the value called uh, new delhi and then uh, india color uh, I mean, Indian Independence Year, which is 1947. Okay, this is what I am uh, going to create uh, something called as object. You understood so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. now it is fine. So uh, just miss the equal to sign. All right, guys. So now what is what is that I have done? I have created a const. Uh, then I have created a, a object which contains uh, key value key value and key value pairing okay which is here uh, it is a string this is a string and this is a number all right make sense now if i go ahead and uh, fetch what ind india details then it will show me sorry the details it will show me what it will show me this as an object which is containing a key value pairing Okay, till now you understood how you how we created this uh, object. Make sense? Yes, sir. Now, how do we retrieve each values here? Ideal way we used to retrieve that is India, uh, which is object name, India details dot capital, uh, the individual keys. Like for example, if I say capital city, then this will return me New Delhi. And if I say, uh, uh, in here then it will give me the 1947 if i would give like flag colors then it would give me orange white green okay this is the ideal way we can retrieve object name dot the key value will give me this value okay now i want to destructure this which means i will try to create each individual uh, keys as the variables how i can do i can go ahead and do that using Destructuring of objects. Okay, here I will give what uh, first is flag color. I can give comma capital city. Okay, this will create a distinct variables. Then I will go ahead and give this value, which means I am creating these individual keys as variables, distinct variables from the object okay now if i go ahead and fetch just flag colors it will give me the orange details so i don't need to write object dot flag colors just flag colors will give me the variable okay then uh in the year i can go ahead and fetch 1947 if i want to go capital uh capital city then i will able to do this now at the same time i can go ahead treat these individual variable names and assign certain value again for that like for example uh, i can go ahead and say flag color is equal to then i'll change like um, maybe i'll say red yellow black red yellow black i can go ahead and assign that value now this value is changed. Now if I say flag color, then that variable is storing a different value now. Whereas the uh, IND India details, if you go, it is still storing the same value, flag color dot orange, white, green. Okay, that has not changed. The object has not changed. What has changed is the variable that we have created because of the destructuring that is storing a different value. 